what is the best area to stay in Copenhagen? That's the topic of this video where I'll show you my four favorite areas of my capital city. So let's jump on the bike and make our way over to the first area. And why we do that, let me just introduce myself. My name is Chris and uh, I'm a Dane and I live here in Copenhagen. So this really is my playground and the city that I know the best. And I want to show you how the different areas of town distinguish themselves and what kind of vibe you can expect and we're gonna start in one of the most sought after areas. Vesterbro, probably the coolest area of Copenhagen. I'm standing here right in the heart of Vesterbro, in front of one of the best places to grab a craft beer on the go. But there's so many amazing restaurants, bars and just cool places to hang out. So let's have a look. So Vesterbro is an old school working class area that in the 80s and early 90s was a bit hardcore, but nowadays it's a completely different story. Even though, as you can see here, people are savage on their bikes, but I guess that's that's just a Copenhagen thing. Some of the best cocktail bars and beer bars are located in uh, the meatpacking district, as you see here. So consider staying in Vestapro if you're looking for that hipster vibe, but you're not in your early 20s. You've got a bit of cash to spend. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Vestapro used to be a bit of a rough neighborhood. And I've got to be honest, a bit of the old harsh atmosphere can still be found outside the central station on the first part of Eastergel and in the surrounding side streets. Because Eastergel used to be the red light district of Copenhagen and to be honest there's still a bit of that sort of stuff going on at night. So maybe don't stay right next to the central station especially if you're coming to Copenhagen with kids. I promise that the last two areas in this video are very family friendly, but let me just get another area for the cool kids out of the way. Nørrebro is a brilliant mix of kebab shops, craft beer bars, cheap eats and even Michelin style restaurants. A bit like Vestapro, a hipster's paradise, so if you're looking to update your Instagram then check Nørrebro out. Nørrebro is probably my favorite area in Copenhagen and it's an area where tourists haven't really found their way. This is the part of town that is a melting pot of students and young creative types and it's also where you'll find eateries and restaurants from all over the world. So this is not the part of town to go for luxury or luxury hotels but if you are a young and adventurous traveler then this is definitely the area for you. And now I think it's time to cycle into the city center. Indreby literally translates to inner city so this is downtown Copenhagen or the old town so this is where you'll find Tivoli Gardens, Nyhavn, Christians Ball, uh, all of the main attractions basically. So this is obviously going to be one of those areas of town where it's safe to book and most tourists are going to enjoy staying here and especially if, if you're coming to Copenhagen with children then book a hotel here and you can walk to like most places in the city center. You're probably gonna be spending some time here at Stroil, which is actually one of the longest pedestrianized streets in the whole of Europe. But the best things in the city center are located down the side streets, so I highly recommend that you don't stay too long on Stroil, but check out the side streets where you'll find some amazing restaurants, bars and independent shops. And now it's time for a very small bike ride over the Copenhagen Harbor to the next area. Christianshavn here is probably the coziest area of Copenhagen. However, it's quite small, so I'm just gonna invent my own area here and call it Christianshavn slash Copenhagen Waterfront. This is where Christiania, Freetown Christiania is located, but that's actually not why I'm recommending it. It's just, well, look around you, it's amazing. So Christianshavn is literally just across from the city center and it is the most cozy area in my opinion. Christianshavn is quite small though, so why not take advantage of the whole Copenhagen waterfront area? This truly is where the city comes alive, especially here in the summertime. And here you see why you shouldn't rent a car if you're just coming to Copenhagen. Just get a bicycle or use your feet. In my uh, written guide on destinationwellknown.com, I'm mentioning quite a few really nice hotels down by the waterfront and they are all very modern and they are more affordable than the downtown Copenhagen city center hotels. So if you're looking for a nice place to stay in the summertime, definitely check these hotels out. 
And remember to check the links in the description. And if you got any questions about your upcoming trip to Copenhagen, then just write a comment below and I'll do my very best to help.